Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how you can use Forecast Engine to generate some water forecasts for a couple hypothetical developments in the core in the fringe of the Bakken play. So I'm logged into demo, novilabs.com, I'm in the Forecast Engine tool, and I'm going to start over here at the well inventory. So that's where you actually kind of lay out your well sticks. Let me give this thing a name. Six, six, six spacing, okay. Choose my formations list. I'm going to choose the one that has the, the 2020 models because that's most recent, but um, you might choose something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay out some hypothetical pads in the core and kind of this undeveloped chunk of acreage right here. And then a little bit over here in the fringe where it's, it's also kind of similarly undeveloped. Um, so let me zoom in. Um, also, I had I have Whiting's acreage turned on here because of the previous analysis I was doing. I'll just go ahead and turn that off. Um, so I have a bunch of different pad designs laid out. I'm going to choose the uh, 660, and then I just click a spot on the map where I wanted to go. So we'll call that one four one, and then I'm just going to drop a second pad in there for kicks. Um, call that one four two. So it's gone through and it's it's figured out the TVDs for these on the back end. It'll be extracting all the geologic information, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So now let me move over here to the fringe. We have some undeveloped acreage right here. Um, and let's kind of lay out a couple pads at uh, 660 spacing up there to see what the, uh, what the impact of these possible designs uh, is going to look like for those. Grab another 660. Okay, okay so now I've, I've loaded uh, kind of my 660 scenario. Next thing I want to do is I want to actually make some predictions for some wells that are kind of parent style. So you know, that would be at like 5280 spacing, basically one mile. Um, just so that I have context for interpreting the existing parent wells that are out there in, in the fringe um, and in the core uh, for doing kind of, you know, looking at what how things should extrapolate or change through time. So I just made a copy of that inventory. And first thing, let's zoom into the core. Um, I'm going to want to uh, kind of just use that little lasso functionality. See if I just hit the enter button, it'll uh, circle up my lasso. So I've selected those two pads, hit the replace button, and um, let's replace one of them with the single well middle block in. And um, let's actually let's have that one be a single well three forks. So let me go through and choose that three forks. So now I've kind of replaced my my one and my two uh, with those uh, wider wider spacing. So I'll go through and hit OK. Oh, looks like I forgot to forgot to change my fringe pads. I'll click on that one. Zoom into my fringe pads. So I will I'll replace that one that I've selected with uh, middle block and single well, and I will. Replace that one with a three fork single well. And uh, good, still have their names. So now I've now I've got my set of four planned wells uh, for, for that one, and then I've got 32 across four pads. So it actually gets some forecasts the way that it works as you go through here and, and you hit the create button up there in the top of the right. Water study 280. So I hit create, choose the model that I want to use, choose the uh, well inventory, choose my completions design. So I have this uh, high res study here that has a bunch of different designs in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose those. Got seven designs. Choose my EUR extension method. And you know, if you've been using our software for a while, you might not notice, but there there is a place to set your your water. 
um, B factor in terms of the client percentage there. Um, which not everybody uses it. And then my confidence interval, so maybe one P10 and P90. If I wanted to, I could turn on economics, and we do have um, spots for uh, for for water disposal costs. So I've got I've got one dollar in here for for water. Um, that's that's up to you. So have it to be whatever you want. I'm not as interested in economics right now. I'm more just researching what drives water production. So I'll turn those off. Hit the finalize button, and I'll give it a uh, give it a name. Okay, so it's going to send me an email when it's done. And then if I want to go through and just repeat this um, for the uh, set of 660s, I just hit that copy button and uh, I'll just call it 660. I like to keep track of the, the key stuff and the, the names of these uh, the studies or of the well inventories. It helps, helps uh, track things later. So I just copied, changed out the well inventory, and... Um, I'm just going to keep, keep that nomenclature consistent with, uh, with what we have there. I'm going to tell it to build. So now it's running on those, those two different uh, forecast sets for the uh, 5280s, the parent wells, and then for the 660s. So I'm going to pop over, and I've, I've just gone ahead and preloaded in um, some of these results. Um, so here I have the, the fluid in barrels per foot that was used in the designs. I have a uh, 90 year, <laughs> 90 day cube. Whoops, that'd be uh, not very much water over 90 days. A 90 day cube of uh, also cube oil water. Oh. Okay, cube water. There you go. That makes sense. So the interesting thing here is that the 5280s, the parent wells, the water production at those really small, small fluid designs, not all the different for the core versus the fringe. Um, but uh, you do see a couple things here. Number one, you see a big difference um, in responsiveness, either for pair wells or for full development, as you uh, as you go out to those larger and larger fluid intensities um, for the for the fringe. Whereas in the core, you know, it's not not nearly as much um, of an uplift as as you get from from adding in that extra fluid um, in terms of barrels per foot. Uh, the other thing is that that 660 spacing, it, it's showing you you're going to have higher water production, um, especially in the fringe, um, compared to the core. And that's that's actually across the entirety of the completion design. So all the way from 16 barrels a foot all the way up to, up to 40 barrels per foot, you're going to see you're gonna see more there. So pretty cool, interesting result. Definitely it's something you would want to keep in mind if you're developing um you know, that acreage, uh, you know, a lot of operators in the Williston do have kind of non, non-chunky non acreage. They'll have some in the core and some in the fringe. And unfortunately, most of the core is getting uh, used up right now. And so as they're moving out to the fringe, um, keeping an eye on that water production is, is going to be uh, critical for both well economics and also for, for mitigating risks of things like um, disposal-related shut-ins, uh, drilling hazards, uh, et cetera. So thank you for listening.